Friends in Christ, it was in October of 1962 that American songwriter and musician Noel Rainey and his wife were commissioned and invited by a major record producer to write a song for Christmas. And Noel Rainey felt that he was unable to do so for two major reasons. The first one is that he felt that Christmas had become too commercial, that the child born in Bethlehem was no longer the focus of the Christmas season, he felt. And so he wanted nothing to do with it. The second reason was much more grave. It was the October 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. So there was a threat of even nuclear war that was overwhelming the world, and especially the United States at that moment. And so Noel Rainey felt not only unwilling but even unable to write a Christmas song. And so it was that he was walking through the streets of New York City, and he saw that many young mothers and fathers were pushing baby strollers. And these small children, this great innocence that he saw before him, inspired him. He realized that these children and in their innocence held the key to peace in the world, just as that child born in Bethlehem would be the Prince of Peace, to bring peace into the world that we live in. So he was inspired, and he went back and he wrote the words to a song that you and I have heard perhaps hundreds and hundreds of times. It says, Said the night wind to the little lamb, Do you see what I see? A star, a star dancing in the night with its tail as big as a kite. And so the little lamb is inspired by what he hears from the night wind. And he goes on to share with the shepherd boy, Do you hear what I hear? A song, a song high above the trees, with a voice as big as the sea. And the shepherd boy, of course, is also moved within himself. He's inspired. And he goes all the way to the king. He says, Do you know what I know? A child. A child shivers in the cold. Let us bring him silver and gold. And the king, who holds all the cards, who has all the power, himself says, Listen to what I say. Pray for peace, people everywhere. The child, the child sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. It's a beautiful song that's inspired by the word of God, and it's reminiscent of the story of creation, how God speaks into the darkness and the world is brought into life. Suddenly, there's this tremendous hope in the created world because God has spoken and brought that world into existence. We see that story scripturally in a literal way in the gospel for this weekend the beautiful story of the visitation, that the Blessed Virgin Mary has that word made flesh that's in her womb. That child who will be born in Bethlehem is in her body. And already we're told that she traveled in haste to the hill country to share with her cousin Elizabeth this great news that the Savior had been conceived in her body. She couldn't wait to get there. She was inspired. She was moved. And she sets off a chain reaction. We're told that when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. That John the Baptist is crying out, Do you hear what I hear? That he's coming. The Messiah is coming. Already John is moved within the womb of Elizabeth. And Elizabeth herself, inspired, says, Who is this that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Who am I that I should receive this incredible news and this incredible visit? And she cries out the praises of the Lord. My friends in Christ, on this fourth Sunday of Advent, how are you and I called to recognize that Jesus Christ and Christ alone brings peace into the world and peace into our hearts? I would suggest this weekend that we can answer that question by receiving him with joy like the Blessed Virgin Mary did, by making room in our hearts 
for the Word made flesh to come into our lives and inspire us and set off that same chain reaction. It's one of the most beautiful readings of the liturgical year are found in the liturgies that lead up to the Christmas celebration. For many of us, we'll be able to listen to those readings at daily Mass, to pay close attention. Let those words sink into our hearts and inspire us. For those of us that are not able to make daily Mass, we can all download those words. We hear the message of the angels that draw ever closer to us in this Christmas season trying to draw into our lives that word of God who will be born in Bethlehem. How are we called to listen to the voice of God, to let it inspire us and to move us to charity, to move us to humility, to move us to a greater compassion for those around us? We ask for the grace to speak the same words of that beautiful Christmas song, Do you hear what I hear? Do you see what I see? And do you know what I know? May the Prince of Peace come into our lives as we wait for the birth of Christ. And may we announce that word to all that we encounter today and in all of those days leading to the celebration of the birth of Christ.